Ah, this is terrible. But we are going to meet, don't worry. Uh, being, being one was there before it's being revived very fast. Oh, yes. You have to stand on both sides. My government is greatly concerned by the massive losses incurred by the cage fish farmers in the lake. This is because they offer employment to many people and help supplement fish supplies in the market. We will procure fingerlings worth 2 million shillings and fish feed worth 1 million shillings to be distributed to the affected fish farmers in the mentioned beaches to help them restock and recover the losses. These are mainly the cage farmers who have extreme, experienced extreme losses of their fish during this time. Fact-finding mission was undertaken by Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute in collaboration with other government agencies between the 10th to the 17th of October this year. What is happening in the lake is a natural but complex phenomenon that has affected the entire region, including all the counties straddling Lake Victoria. The same has been reported in Uganda and Tanzania. These, we strongly believe, could be the benefits, that could be the effects of climate change. The lake is currently choking with high nutrient loads resulting into algae in bloom which has affected the ecological imbalance in the waters. As we count these losses, I appeal to the fish farmers to ensure proper and scientific disposal of the dead fish to avoid further pollution. While Lake Victoria is a victim of industrial runoff upstream, I also wish to instruct officers of the Department of Environment to tighten surveillance to ensure compliance by local industries.